What going on? I am Emperor Zinga and I'm here with you once again here at Shafet Rockley with Tumel Hill and they just came out from a fantastic festival in Canada called Barbados on the Water. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm gonna bring around this so everybody can hear you. <laughs> so um, my first question is obviously how was Canada? Cool! Yes, <laughs> very. Yeah, it was it was actually really good other than the um the unexpectedly cold and wet weather, it was actually really good. A lot of people came out, um huge, huge numbers, Bajans, uh Trinis, Caribbean. yeah. The Caribbean was family was there, it was crazy down and crying, man. It was it was nice. Sweet. Um how was it I'm working with other artists from Barbados, but now you're in a different environment, how was that? Well, it was kind of like what we've experienced here to be quite honest. We've worked with most of them already, um, so we have excellent reports all of them, Rupi, Rick, Baig, Edwin, the whole lot of them. So just, it was pretty much just carrying it overseas and doing what we do we over there. We actually have worked with a Barbadian contingent overseas before and it's always kind of a similar, very familiar um, community type of vibe. So it's like you take a piece of Barbados, like physically, and just carry it somewhere else. Um, how did you find the crowd? Because I know you said that it was a lot of Caribbean contingent there that everybody could be big enough, everybody, especially the Beijing Yankees gonna be like, I miss Barbados, I can't believe everybody's here. How was the reception there? How did everybody react to your guys' performance? I found that I found that everywhere we go we are received very well. People are very receptive to music and good vibes. And it was no different in Toronto. The crowd was really receptive they were really into what we were doing especially because it was a different kind of vibe than than maybe what they expected since there was a lot of soca art artists tree going on and a lot of indigenous caribbean vibes going on and we have kind of a different fusion type of thing and i, I found that they were pleasantly surprised by it and we actually got a lot of people coming up to us afterwards asking about our music and that sort of thing so it was really it was a really nice experience to have how do you feel about the idea of local artists going overseas and getting some exposure experiencing different cultures from other parts of the world i think it's tremendously important um when you get out there you get to see new people you get to see new um, environments etc you get to spread your wings as a performer and really that's what it is what it's about when you perform and you want to perform to as many people as possible, get your stuff out to as many people as possible. So I love it man, that's that's the business. To be honest, um, as well, even though the internet and uh, social media and stuff brings the world to you, there is nothing as a performer, there's nothing like performing. So when you can get out there and physically perform for an audience that you've never performed for, that's an opportunity you should never pass up. What is it about performing live that you get? other than, you know, putting in a CD and, or going on your MP3 player or iPod or what have you, listening to the radio, what is it that you find that is so different? The energy, like there's just an energy that comes from a space, from people, from, from the vibrations, from the instruments and the speakers and all of that stuff. That experience is unparalleled by anything you would get from a recording coming through the same set speakers. You also get to meet people. You also get to engage with people on a personal level and that's also something you won't get over the internet and over a computer screen or a phone screen and there that's priceless that's priceless because that's what takes a fan from just being a fan to being family i think it's the opportunity to really show really showcase the full the full artistry of, of what you're doing right so you just have the music playing if you got a cd right you ain't seen nobody jumping up and you know sliding across the stage and stuff so i think the visual aspect um, to the to the to a performer is very important as well. And then you get to add stuff um, like dancers or something like um, Arthur Tappins band had dancers uh, up the road, right? What was great um, f at the festival is that now we brought in the soca artists and we played with them too. So now you got um, Two Mile Hill interacting with Rupi, interacting with with Marve and stuff. So the end product of it was pretty amazing. No, this is cool. Like when we were performing up there, it was pretty chilly. But 
when you're performing, like nothing else really matters because you you're in the zone, you got the vibes flowing and, and things. So like it got to a point where we start sweating and bare and it's really cold up there. And stupid me took off my jacket because you know I I was hot, yeah, you know. But then the when you stop moving, <laughs> then you realize, wait a minute, I can see my breath in front of me, you know. <laughs> then it gets real, real fast. <laughs> jacket on. <laughs> In your career, and I know y'all have had a pretty long run, but this might be. Oh, so <laughs> well, you're not that old. You're old enough. But <laughs> what what performance do you think was like the most memorable performance that you could think of? Right, for me, the the best experience so far, or the most impactful, the most amazing for me, was the first time we went to France. Um, Cognac because that was like you know these little fellas from Barbados in the competition the worldwide competition and we end up winning beating everybody in the world because of the amazing fans that we have um, and we go over to this very strange land and experience all these new things and and foie gras and, and <laughs> Hennessy and tour the place and then performing to a bunch of French people that don't speak English and then they were like yeah and they were loving the music it was it was like that whole experience, that whole time that we were up there was absolutely amazing. So it wasn't just the performance aspect that was super amazing, but the whole thing. Okay. Anything different to Dar? Does everybody have that same experience of that one country? Now for me, the second one, because I missed the first one, the second one was good for me. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, to meet White Cliff and other people like that was nice. me. It was awesome. So, yeah, second one. Don't mind the first. <laughs> so my final question for you guys would be, what was your proudest moment going to Canada and being a part of the festival? All right, so uh, for me, there was a point we were on stage when um, it was at the end of Rupee set. And he finished off with, I am a Bayesian. And it finished off with like pyrotechnics and all that stuff. But then that was the part that got me. It was when you looked down the crowd, you saw everyone just saying, I am a beige and I am a beige and he was the flies and everything was up and then he went to the bridge and the part where he says Barbados is my home wherever I may go and everyone just singing along and waving in front of his face so it was it, it had a real warm feeling in the cold it had a real warm feeling so that was that was definitely my my proudest moment as right a beige right in the feels right in the feels <laughs> and then the song ended and we saw our breath once again <laughs> And then it got about very cool. Yeah. Let, let me get about the Barbados now. <laughs> well, that has been our interview here at Chauffet with Tumel Hill. Guys, please go and support them. They're all over the place, especially on Instagram. They have... Tumel Hill. <laughs> they have a new single out. Where can we go and purchase that? All of our music is available for purchase on iTunes. And all the other online stores, Google Play, we are on Spotify, we are on Apple Where Music. Where should we follow you? Follow me by internet, you think? Uh, yeah. Everywhere, anywhere. Two anywhere. Hill. Everything anywhere. is 2, yes, yeah. everything is 2 Mile Hill. 2 Mile Hill dot com. Uh, Instagram is 2 Mile Hill. Number Facebook two? is 2 Mile Hill. Yes, yes. Mile Hill. The, the, the very humongous two necklace. Mile. So I want to face it, so it's this way, right? 2 Mile Hill. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys somewhere sometime very soon. <laughs>